please no. join us. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> I'm in shock. Miguel O'Donnell, award-winning author. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. As I say, I'm, I'm really in shock. It's just unbelievable. I can't believe it. I feel like a fraud. <laughs> but that's interesting because you said that you were intimidated by the idea of writing a book when the idea first came up. Mm. Here you are. You've written it. It's hit the shelves. People love it. And now you're winning awards for it. How I does know, that feel? I don't feel oh, weird. It's just <laughs> completely surreal. It's like... I don't know, it's like something is happening to me that's out with my control, you know. I mean, fantastic things have happened to me this year and it's just all bizarre. It's amazing, amazing. Can I say that to you? Because it seems that you've emerged separately from Daniel sure. in the year. yes. And you now have a strong, publicly acknowledged, independent voice, really. Mm -hmm. what's, what's that been like for you during this year, then? <sighs> uh, it's been... I suppose it's been... Yeah, it's been really nice because I have always been... Um, involved with the public but always on the background and you know when people come would come to Daniel and ask for photos and autographs or whatever now I'm kind of getting you know sometimes I would get an elbow in my face now I'm getting the armor <laughs> on my shoulder as well so it's kind of you know it's, it's lovely yeah very they're nice. getting Daniel to hold the camera so yeah. they get a picture <laughs> with you well, I was telling I'll tell a quick story of, of a, a, a Daniel phoned a friend of his not phone text a friend of his um, is a teacher in school and he texts him to, I've said this on television before actually, but he texts him to wish him a happy birthday and the teacher, one of the children heard the phone going, bad teacher, and uh, he said, sir, he said, um, who's that? And he said, oh, that's Daniel O'Donnell, he's phoning me to wish me a happy birthday. And one of the children put her hand up and said, is that Michelle O'Donnell's husband? <laughs> <laughs> so that's... Daniel doesn't have one of these. <laughs> It was a difficult at times writing the book because you had to revisit very painful chapters. Mm -hmm. And we know from your astonishing appearance in the late, late last year, where you opened your heart to us, you did it again on paper. What was that like mm -hmm. for you to, to do that? Actually, it, it wasn't as... I suppose the most disturbing chapter for me was the death of my father because it was very sudden and I was in the middle of chemotherapy at, at the time. That was very painful and I cried a lot when I wrote that chapter. The rest of it, I didn't because... I had dealt with all those issues. I had dealt with, you know, the issues of my marriage breakdown, everything. For years, I had really changed. I had gone through all the psychologists mm -hmm. and changing, you know, my thinking and everything. So I kind of dealt with all that before, so it was just a case of saying how it was. But the, the, the chapter on my dad was very painful. Yeah. But being honest comes easily to you then, mm, or it doesn't it does, bother yeah. you. It's not something that keeps you awake at night that no. I've said too much or I've opened my heart too much. And that's why people, I think, have really yeah. taken you to I their hearts. Well, sometimes I, I do. Sometimes I think, ugh, you know, I do kind of think people must be sick to death to listen to me now at this stage. But no. I'm just, I am as I am. And I, if people like me, they like me. And if they don't, they don't. I'm not, you know, that's life. You know, it's always half the people will like you and half them won't. So I may as well just be myself. And that's, that's what I think. What was it like to see the book on the shelves? Oh, yeah, that was amazing. Was it? Yeah, Where did you first yeah. see it? Or well, I mean, remember? I got sent a copy. Yeah, but when you walked into the shop... Actually, the first time was in the north. I was going up to... Daniel was recording something in Newry, I think. And it was a couple of days before the publication date. And I was just walking through a shopping centre and past a bookshop. And I thought, oh, my God. And I looked around, is there anybody in? And I went in and I just took a picture. <laughs> so he showed it to Daniel, look, my book's on the shelf. Yeah, strange. What a beautiful Guna. Thank you very much. Did much decision making go into it? No, or? not really, no. I was in America last month, so I got it in America. You know, it's very hard to... I know. ...to know what to wear. Do I wear short? Do I wear long? Do I... What do I wear? But anyway, I... And then I said to Daniel tonight when I was sitting, am I terrible old-fashioned looking? And he said, you are as you are. Mm -hmm. And I thought you're right. <laughs> Let it be. Well, I think it's very beautiful and Thank very you. sparkly. And can I just say, for us in this room, we are so thrilled for you that you've Thank won you this. It's much. a huge achievement. Yes. And keep writing, I think. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Magello's <laughs> on.